Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tin Man Collection. So today we'll be reviewing the Master Cutlery Katana with a slotted sheath. It's, uh, the sheath is made out of a black finished wood and it's got the cutout for the lettering like I said. And it's overall uh, 40 inches overall. And it's got a 27 and a half inch blade made out of 440 stainless steel. And if you can see right here, you might see some Japanese character writing on it. And then, if I flip it over, you might see some on the other side of the blade too. And uh, I got a true story about this one real quick. We were going to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we stopped over at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. That's where I picked this one up. And uh, I was actually picking up one that had a blue sheath with a blue rack handle. And it was about, I would say, about that big. And uh, we got to the cash register, we paid for it, and then we got all the way back home, and then I took it out, it was this one. I said, I got a little bit upset, but I went like, wait a minute. I got a better quality sword for a cheaper price. So I said, I was happy. <laughs> I said, maybe one day I might get that other one. But anyway, uh, that's it for now. Oh, if uh, anybody saw the Japanese character writing right there, if anybody would know how to translate that, or uh, pull it back up. anybody know how to translate that, let me know down in the comments, please. Uh, the item number is... DBJS627 if you want to look it up online or something. But that's it for now. Like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.